It's about to be action packed, so sit back and enjoy your snacks while we keep it real. Oh, hell yeah! What's going on, real estate? Your man Trey. And it's your girl Tasha. Man to the real, where we keep it real. And we back for season nine, episode one. Um, a new beginning. It's gonna be a new ending, too. Yeah. For those of y'all who don't know, this is Andrew Lincoln's last season, Rick Grimes. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about continuing. I support, I, I support The Walking Dead and Skybound and everybody else, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel. It depends on how this season ends. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep watching. But um, I know it's supposed to be some guest appearances. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know, I, I know, I know. We ain't gonna see no, no, no Carl. Okay. You are. I was trying to say rest in peace, Herschel, and then you over here being Katie. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Yeah. The guy who played the Maggie Dan Herschel passed away in real life, Scott. I think it's his name. Passed away yesterday, so I'm sure they'll say something about it. Like, they probably added, like, a tribute or something on the episode. Or, or I mean, you know how they do it in memory of it or whatever. Yeah, they probably do it on the episode they record now. Or they just throw a rest in peace. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Season 9. God, dog. Yeah, this might be the last season. It ain't. Of us watching. Because they done made a whole lot of shit. Welcome to Alexandria. It got to be a time jump that we build. Oh, oh, are we rebuilding the church? Manual labor with crops and buildings. Like, that got to be. Wow, they got solar, solar panels. Got turbines. Where, how long has it been? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. Old oh, man Rick. Y'all ladies gonna call him Sexy Rick? That's what y'all gonna call him? <laughs> <laughs> just like they they don't seem happy they just yeah. seem like they good well rick and michelle seem like they was happy with the little girl but everybody else seemed like they just kind of coasted like yeah. yeah okay okay Shit. Ooh, and I, i'm like they got a whole cherry out here like for real like, what is going on oh shit look at him with the little messed up eyes I almost thought that was part of it. Oh, man. Still too Where they going? It's the town hall meeting, everybody. Oh, there. shit. I like it, though. What the fuck? Look at it. They, it changed. They got grass on it now. Like, it normally withers. <laughs> Each season, but it got grass on it. That's crazy. Uh, shit! They probably had a whole tour thing coming up. You gonna walk on the blast, huh? Okay, right. with your tough ass. Man, I wouldn't even take that fucking risk. See what I'm saying? Look at that shit. Like the fuck? 
They were just literally in the big one came out. Oh hell no, nah, bitch. I can't fuck with this. Yeah. They could be doing this, this, that, yeah. and yeah. Hell no, nah, I ain't alright. I'm finna go. <laughs> I forgot what, what name was. <laughs> What's his name? I forgot his fucking name. My bad, y'all. His name is Sadiq. It's been a while. God. That's horrible. Man, every time I see somebody with a fucking hat on, I think, man, go roll for me! No, they kind of had, he remind me of somebody from something else, and I can't think of what it is. Human evolution, huh? He think that's funny. Intelligent design. <laughs> I find it funny. The <laughs> evolution, man. Oh, they got him tied up to him just like last time. Well, I feel like that's the problem. Episode. Rick gonna be dangling death every fucking episode. So we don't know what he gonna do. <laughs> Screwed us up. If they kill the first episode, episode. <laughs> I'll be highly shocked. They ain't gonna do that though. They want you to watch the whole thing. Now that half is up for grabs. I feel like it might be the last episode. I wish she didn't die. I wish she was the cure. <laughs> Why they always got Carol carrying this old heavy ass life in danger and shit? Let's crack it more, more. Get on, get on, get on. Ezekiel.
Gene Cherry. You who did that? I don't know, man. That was being negative. I'm like, yeah, I work with Joe. Just clean that up. How? What do you mean, how? Paint over it. We just used our whole paint. She said to put your boy. People take advantage of like a grieving father and then get the kids on the phone. I'm tired of it. I'm angry. I'm angry to see the lives at the hilltop. Your son's life being treated like the price of doing someone else's business. Here we go. She's put me here. And you know what? I just want to do a trash counter, y'all, just to see how many times this year. But for each show, Tasha says trash, and then we'll tally all of them up from each show we do. And by the time May come around, let's see how many times she can say trash. I'm just, I'm just saying, like in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Just put the number. Like I trust y'all in the comments. <laughs> Why y'all already got um, pictures of Greg Girl Mom? I, I fucking stop watching. I fucking stop watching. I mean, that's what he acting like. He trash though. Like, you done tried to kill this girl while she was pregnant. Chickened out. She done saved your life a couple times. You're supposed to be dead, but you're not. I mean, if it wasn't, wasn't, it, for, if it wasn't for that little boy coming up in there and opening the door, he wouldn't have got out with when, I, I can't even remember. I now I wonder what his little ass said. <laughs> yeah, that's what we can see. He probably up there. He'll talk. Still fucking shit up with his head. <clears throat> Oh, hell no. Nah. Take that big thing, Yeah. Don't talk to me, baby. I've been there. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. He might try to kill you, child. Damn! I know he defense with little twerp. He probably will try to kill the baby before he can kill her. The baby can't fight that. Force me to do some soul searching. We were burying Ken before. I didn't want to say anything. Not now, but it looked like someone defaced Glenn's grave. Maybe just some sort of accident. Kids didn't know anything. That's how y'all out here playing? Yeah. And I hope it wasn't that someone. Y'all bitches better leave. Glee the fuck alone. I know that. <laughs> I hope you fall down the flight of stairs and twist your neck. But live long enough to see a walk of fighting since you did. God damn it! It made the baby fall over. Oh shit! Who? Who is this? I know that ain't that drunk old man. Oh she down. Fuck. That's what he wanna do. He a fucking bitch. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. You have to have me killed because you're too chicken shit to do what you said. He sure the fuck did. Kill him. Damn, you obviously have a head injury. You want to leave this place? You can't even murder someone, right? Got that baby knocked over there. He... Oh, thank you, because you got a son killed. Oh, shit. He got a fucking die. Where's Jesus? You should have slit that bitch throat. You fucking coward. He probably pissed on his head. That is, I would have shanked the fuck out of him so hard. Oh, that bitch, he just, he just had somebody try to kill you, knock your baby over, then fucked over in the and just tried to shake you in the dark. Nope, he dead. Put him in the cell with Negan. Let him eat on him. Negan, this your lunch for the next. <laughs> Give him a carbon knife and some fire and let him roast his ass. I'm done. I ain't trying to eat no filet of Gregory. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't trying to eat no filet of Gregory. He fucking makes me sick, bitch. I'm sick of him. What, what's your word? And he always fucking still, he's still alive. Why? Fuck all that. Your baby just got knocked out of a hole. Like, what if it was walkers out there? That baby would have been lunch. 
They done knocked the whole baby stroller out of that was up hollering. They like would dinner or breakfast. Whatever. He need to die. They got he got that man drunk and had talked him into that shit. He wouldn't have did that on his own. Do you have any final words? Yeah, oh, get, what the fuck is Gregory? That's what they talking to. That's what they looking at. Oh, they finna hang this yeah. hole. Like, that's if like, the grass and shit don't grow here, let they ass get on some horses and go somewhere else and tend to their crops and come back the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, why they just got to do it right there? This is the thing. Like, that's like everybody that's started with us being disloyal to Rick if he would have got caught. Them people not just go up and say, oh, no, nah, nigga, fuck him. No, nah. no, nah, because it's somebody. They don't care what. You can feed them and clothe them and do whatever. They still going to be down for Negan. Exactly. Cause they like, I was ready. I ain't trying to do no labor. They ain't trying to do no labor. They want to take shit from folks. There's some people that just like that. Like that's, that was their way of life for a long that's time. That's just like people that have money. But because they get off on stealing shit, they steal shit anyway. Yeah, y'all ever notice that rich like, people steal? Like, I don't even know. Well, rich people. A lot. Okay. That, that, like, I'm, I don't understand it though. Like, because they get off on the thrill of not getting caught. So crazy. they do. I'm finna buy these motherfucking whatever I want. Okay, well, most people that do that gonna get out of whatever anyway. So they got the money to get out of jail. It was an okay but episode. I it mean, was a good episode. I mean, it's just like, I feel like it's gonna be aggravating all season because people not gonna get along like people want them to. Yeah. Like, Daryl and Rick supposed to be like brothers. They already like. Yeah. Not getting along, and then Maggie like, I ain't with this shit, you know. Yeah, you can sense the tension. It's like it's gonna be like that all the first half, probably. I don't, I don't like the tension that's there. This remind me of fucking Arrow mm -hmm. last. What was it last season? But they, it's probably not gonna be that bad on here though. They was acting like little hoes on Arrow though, like they keep being the same. Like they just, I mean, they stay back on here. They not arguing back and forth. They. They legitimately all have accurate points though. Like the shit they was doing on, a on Arrow was like childish. No the way. shit that they doing on here, like Rick trying to save everybody, Daryl just wanted to be the little group, and they both have positive. You know what I'm saying? With more people, you get more done, and y'all growing more as a community. Which, if this goes the way it's supposed to go, that lady that gave um, Maggie that book on how to do all this stuff, they supposed to have a community of like fifty to a hundred thousand people. So if they can get along. Y'all can't get a hundred people together. <laughs> That's what I'm like. You gotta just show people how it is. Like Maggie just hung that man for fucking up. That gotta stay the examples. Gotta have rules. I mean, trying to kill me is a fucking. That's problem. what I'm saying. Like, why would I let you live this? Like the second or third time you to try some bullshit, you you're out of you're out of options. You just struck out. I mean, I would have just. I mean, hang I guess, the bitch. I guess it was easier to hang him than let him go because. He probably would have found a way to weasel back and like kill somebody in their sleep, knowing him. <laughs> like I don't know, but I mean I get both sides of it. Daryl, I'm with Daryl too. Like when we had the small group, we was good. Like we was making it through situations. Like 
Yeah, we might have lost somebody every now and then, but that's inevitable. We got a big group, and we still lost somebody today. So it just shit just happens like that. Yeah. This the everybody gonna get odds. Jesus team Maggie, Carol probably gonna be team Daryl, and then Michonne gonna be team Rick. So there it is. Everybody got they everybody in their corners with their refs. <laughs> And there it is. Michonne look like she gonna beat the shit out of somebody on behalf of Rick this season. So I don't know. She just looking like they doing too much. Can y'all, y'all let's. I just how y'all think Rick gonna die? I don't know. That that that's a question that we need to ask ourselves. I like that that like, need to be that need to be the hashtag for this season. How will Rick die? I feel put like that out Rick there. is going to die. Put that out there. No, How will I Rick feel die? like Rick going to die by the whisperers if they really in this season because they could like real fucked up. And then it's just kind of like, I don't feel like they let somebody kill him that's still going to be on the show later because then people going to have an issue with it. So I feel like it's going to be something that's like probably some new issue that arises in the end. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Cause the whispers ain't no joke. So, I know at some point if they keep going along with the compass, Negan ain't gonna be locked up the whole time. So that's why I'm just like I don't know, but I don't think Negan gonna be the one to kill him. Right. Well, y'all, that was the season premiere of The Walking Dead. Oh yes. my goodness, Gregory's dead. Thank the Lord. I'm sick of him. But I just feel like this, them showing that whole scene where. He got that man drunk just to try to get him to do all that. I just feel like more shit like that gonna happen. Like people gonna be talking people into doing like dumb shit all season. Like people, the saviors, you gonna have them gather together and try to do little shit to like overthrow Rick because they want Negan. Like everybody gonna have their little groups in within the group to do stupid shit. So, yeah. but hey, we gonna get up out of here. Hey, Walking Dead, we back into it. This is. Yeah, we set up y'all fall schedule, so yeah. be looking for a lot of uploads coming soon. Yes. Flash and Black Lightning Tuesday. Yes. Meanwhile, y'all are getting like Big Mouth and the Netflix shows and stuff. So. But y'all, I don't know. We're so glad to be back. <laughs> I was scared to watch the rest of this season. <laughs> y'all stay up. Y'all stay real. It's your man Trey. And it's your girl Tasha. Man to the real. Y'all be sure to stay real. You've already watched, so you might as well subscribe, please.